This is so fascinating to me. Uh, Chris, what does science have to say about these portals and mortal beings coming from uh, another dimension? Well, you know, it's a perfectly respectable idea within science now to believe in parallel worlds, parallel dimensions. Um, it's not even really controversial. Most scientists just accept it. Tell me what you caught on camera in Sedona, Arizona. Well, we got uh, video and photographs of what people call orbs, okay? Now, I initially was very skeptical about the whole orb phenomenon. I've seen, you know, people thinking that these are ghosts and, and things like that on the internet. Uh, I've, I've seen photographs right. of these little circles. Uh-huh. So the way we did it is we set up a still photograph with, with a flash, the way people normally catch orbs, but at the same time have a video camera running from a different angle. Now. If it shows up on two different angles, right. you know, in the same spot, it can't be a dust particle on the right. lens or, or any of those kind of things. Uh, we were kind of surprised that not only did we catch them on both cameras, but the professional photographer that I hired to come out there and video it saw it with his naked eye. He saw a ball of light flying toward him as he was filming. So not only did they show up on both cameras, and we literally saw them with, with our eyes. Okay, Tom, what does the Bible have to say in the last days uh, about portals and things like this. You know, and, and this is the other thing, and, and I've studied prophecy a great deal of my life and never thought of it before, and I'm actually now saying that this is actually the most overlooked aspect of end times prophecy, the role that the windows of heaven and the gates of the earth will play in the end times. For instance, if you read the book of Revelation chapter 9, you see angels that are bound under the great river Euphrates, and a time comes when the gates or whatever's holding them there opens and they come up out of the earth. Very powerful. In fact, they wipe out one thing third of rebellious humanity in the tribulation period. So we find out that the gateways of the earth, the earth is dynamic. It's a holding tank. Jesus tells story of the rich man and Lazarus going down into the belly of the earth, right? Jesus tells about Jonah and he says as he was in the belly of the earth, the Son of Man's going to go there too. Here's the good part though, when Jesus in his death, burial, and resurrection went down into the belly of the earth, when he came out it says he brought with him the keys to death, hell, and the grave. Right. So not only are there are gates, there's keys, and he's got the important ones. But, but here's the thing that I want to make clear to you. You need really godly discernment in the times and days that we're living in, because some of these passageways, uh, demonic entities will come into the mm -hmm. earth. Some of these passageways, angels are going to be coming into the earth. I have seen portals that I know were God. And I have seen portals that I know were demonic. So there's an organization you've done a lot, you gentlemen have done a lot of uh, study on. It's called CERN. Yeah. What, what is CERN? Who's it made up? Well, CERN is a large particle collider. Basically, it's in southeastern France. It's a 17-mile-long tunnel that's buried beneath the ground. And what they're doing there is they're accelerating protons at nearly well, the speed of light. How many countries are involved? Oh, 15, 20 countries of the Earth, something there's like a, that. There's a, and these are top scientists? These are top scientists okay. in the world. And, and actually, these are the most powerful scientific experiments that have ever been conducted on the face of the Earth. They're accelerating these particles at just beneath the speed of light and they film what's going on. Now why are they doing all this? Well, particle physicists of course want to know about the nature of creation, so they burst these particles into their subatomic pieces to try to understand what they're doing, mm -hmm. but they're also looking for gravitons because they believe that those gravitons might be escaping into a parallel reality. Do they believe that they can actually create a passageway uh, to uh, what they think is heaven, the, which I know is the demonic realm. They not only believe it, Sergio Bertolucci, who is the science director at CERN, said it in a public uh, interview. He said, we are going to open a doorway at CERN, and he said, we may send something through it, or something may come through it back to us. But they totally believe in it. The, and one other final thing, by the way, is they're also looking for gluon, and this thrills me as a well, theologian. What is gluon? Gluon is, in a layman's term, essentially the overlaying of sound waves because particle physicists can't understand why we don't just fly apart, right? The actual matter that you're made out of, Sid, would disappear on the head of a pen. You're, most, you're almost entirely motion. 
protons, neutrons, spinning electrons, your movement. That's all you are. They don't understand. There's no room for pride, is there? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They don't understand why you don't fly apart. Well, what is gluon? <laughs> gluon is the overlaying of sound waves. It's what holds everything together. It's basically Genesis chapter 1. And God spoke. Bara. God said, let there be. God emits sound waves, and he calls forth into somethingness, out of nothingness, atomic constructs, and he makes the plants, he makes the animals. We don't need CERN. Yeah. All we need is the Bible. They're looking but for the voice of God. What the f-